Heirloom Puzzles was created in 1995 when creator and entrepreneur Seal Pedersen found there was a need for a high quality wooden puzzle for children. Through trial and error, Seal has created a fine line of puzzles that you see available here. Our short video will show you how she does it. She starts with the design phase, sketching, then painting most designs. Most of what you see before you are Seal's originals. The original painting goes to the copy shop for simple color prints. The prints are trimmed and carefully glued to a piece of quarter inch medium density fiberboard. Seal uses a quick drying varnish to glue the thin paper to the board, smoothing it out quickly. Two coats of varnish are applied to the top to protect the paper surface. A radial arm saw trims away excess board and the edges are smoothed quickly and efficiently with a belt sander. For a jigsaw puzzle, Seal determines what number of pieces to cut, then marks two edges as a guide for cutting. Seal uses a DeWalt 20-inch scroll saw with a 5 inch long blade. She may need one or two blades per puzzle. Freehand cutting creates the knobs and sockets typical of jigsaw puzzles. If cutting a puzzle for a very young child, the pieces will be much larger. Every cut piece has a rough underside called tear out and must be sanded off. Seal uses the belt sander again for this step. A flat tray puzzle is created in a different way. The entire center of the picture is first cut out. The remaining frame is glued to a base and trimmed and finished with a router. The center section is cut into segments and placed back within the frame. Seal has created an original design, cutting layers upon layers. This freehand cutting takes practice and results in a very difficult puzzle to put together, a real challenge. Cut puzzles are packaged and carried to the craft shows where Seal hopes to find appropriate new owners. Her philosophy is to create a low-cost, high-quality puzzle that she can share with children everywhere. 